Hey YouTube, we're gonna make uh, Betty Crocker fudge brownies. Um, this is the mixer we're using, and uh, you know, here are the instructions. So, uh, the first step, you turn on your oven. The oven says here, uh, um, 350 for shiny or glass pan. Uh, this is a glass pan, obviously. Um, 324 for, 325 for a dark or non-stick pan. Um, it does say to grease the pan. We're gonna do that when we, uh, when we um, get it all prepared up. So, uh, you get the brownie mix, obviously. Um, you need your oil. Um, we are using Crisco, and uh, the directions say that you need to have one third of a cup of oil. You have just a half. Wow, that would have been dangerous. A third of a cup of oil, um, two tablespoons of water, and then one egg. So we have our water. Um, the two tablespoons of water is just a little bit less than a quarter of a cup if you want to um, see how much that is um, if you're being like ridiculously lazy and you basically just uh, combine it all together and it says to stir it 50 times um, but I don't think anybody's gonna really um, you know count um, it just means like combine it and then you bake it and then you get brownies oh. if you're smart enough open the container alright so we are gonna go ahead brownies. Like I said in the last video uh, about cooking, um, you're not really supposed to eat raw eggs. There are some individuals out there that do eat raw eggs. Um, like Arnold Schwarzenegger um, specifically is one of the people that I know that uh, eats raw eggs. He eats eggshells and everything. Um, so as much as you might want to eat the batter, um, it's really not recommended by most um, people to do. So you just put all your stuff in the bowl. There's all our stuff, like yummy. And then uh, we just mix it up. And uh, you know, like we, I guess we can count this in Mississippi. It's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Um, but it says that you stir it approximately 50 times, um, which I think kind of is ridiculous that uh, um, they're counting the number of times that you stir it. Um, you just want to make sure that you get it um, properly stirred. Somebody in the comments can tell me how many times I stirred it. I'm not really counting. Um, I like to look at the edges and see um, if there's any, you know, non-mixed on the edges. I mean, that looks already pretty well stirred, honestly. Um, there's some little clumps in it, but. Um, it seems pretty well stirred. Um, and I'm stirring with a fork is what I'm using. Um, I like to stir my stuff with forks. Seems like it makes stirring a lot easier. And we get our pan. It does say to um, oil, grease the pan. So we're gonna, but it says to grease the bottom of it specifically. Um, just gonna hit with pan. In this particular case, I'm gonna cheat. I know this is cheating. I'm gonna get one of these things out and uh, make sure I get all the fudge out. I don't even know the exact name. It's a type of spatula, um, just so I can make sure I can get all of it out. My oven is already pretty heated, um, so we can go do this real quick. We don't have to actually wait for the oven to to heat up. Don't stick it in uh, um, while the oven is preheating. So that's what it looks like beforehand, and we are going to stick it in. We can look at our directions and see what it says. It says 26 to 28 minutes. So uh, we're going to set a timer now for 26 minutes, and then we will come back and check it. And and uh, we'll show you what, what how it turned out. Hey YouTube, so our timer went off. We're gonna do the toothpick test. Um, toothpick test. So basically, um, the general idea 
is um, you get your brownies, like here they are, and then um, you stick a toothpick in it very carefully. See, I did, and there, you know, there's a toothpick, and then you pull your toothpick out, and if it comes out dry, and that's that's pretty dry, um, then your brownies are ready. So uh, um, for us, like the minimum amount of time is what it took to cook the brownies, and uh, I guess it had to do with like the. The temperature and where we're at, um, we're in Northern Virginia. Um, I guess probably if you're in Colorado or something or somewhere where it's higher elevation, then um, you know, you're gonna have to adjust a little bit. Uh, but you stick a, a toothpick in, and then um, you see this, if, the, if it's um, wet or not, and that will tell you if, if you're done. So there you go, we have brownies, and uh, hopefully uh, that helps you out.